Hello, it's Mary Lou here, and I have um, a folio that I created for myself uh, that I wanted to share with you. I watched uh, a tutorial series by Andrea slash Artie Mays, and um, it was, I think, four videos long. Well, she walked you through step by step and gave you the dimensions that you needed, and, and so um, I followed along with it, and then I watched it part of it again to get some of the measurements and write them down make sure I had them right and um, so I had been saving or hoarding <laughs> this collection of um, graphic 45 um, portrait of a lady collection and I thought this was the perfect paper collection to use well number one because I love it and the colors um, but it's just I thought it was pretty you know would be pretty for a portfolio but this is for me I don't often make things for me but I did want to share it with you so you can see the cover I did a, a lot of layering and some punching and then I did put Wink Estella here back here there is a a tag make sure I keep it in frame so you can see it so there's a tag that slides in there and like Andrea showed on hers well, here's my charm before I start unwrapping. I put a couple of charms. There's a some dangling beads, glass beads, and a and a key. Anyway, I wrapped it around twice, and then it's it is um, glued down right there at the the uh, front cover. Um, I loved uh, this is um, some wallpaper that I purchased from Amazon. I believe, yeah, Amazon. And it was a little bit too white, but I loved the sparkles in it, and it's kind of a bit of a flocked feel to it. So what I did was I rubbed um, vintage Foldo all over it and then kind of, um, you know, wiped that down with a soft cloth to just, you know, to, so it wouldn't come off. And So it really did go in well to the, to the, to the uh, wallpaper. Anyway, so that's how that works. Okay, so there's the first page. There's a pocket here. And inside, I don't know if this is what I'll leave in here, but this is what I put in here, at least for the video. So there are some, this one you couldn't write on the back of, but it's pretty. This one has places to journal. And it's got a, a you know, a magnet to keep it closed then up here is a just a little pocket and none of the pieces that came in this kit would really fit in there so i thought okay i'll just start making some little little um, cards that can just slide in there and they can be photo mats or whatever i decide to use them for or if i use them at all okay then on this this page i did this large pocket and i double um i i did um some what do I want to say? I, I scored very close together to two lines so that it would have some depth. So I'd have some room in there if I want to put some stuff in there. Right now, it just has this card. And of course, that's a neat image to be able to, to um, write journal on. And then behind it, because I didn't have anything big enough, I created, if I can get it out, there you go. I created a tag that's got a pocket on the front with this card from the kit to the collection. And then I put that one in the pocket. And I'll just set it aside so we don't have to mess with that. Okay, then this opens up. See if I can keep it all in frame. And there's a side pocket here that I did some, you know, layering of decoration and, and then a card in there, a large card. And here, there's a, a pocket across here that I decorated, and then it's got these cards. So lots more places to journal. Like I said, if I keep them in here. And then up here, again, this was a large space, so I just made a photo map that can be, you know, I can add photos to or do whatever I want to down the road when I decide what I'm doing with it. Okay, then that's, that's that side. Then you open this side up, and in the center, I made a side pocket, 
and I decided to put an envelope in it and it's made out of parchment paper because it's thin and it I thought it fit the, the look and then I put this card in there but I can put other doodads in there if I so desire and then I just put this photo mat in there and I thought I put another card but, oh I guess it was that card I ended up it was just in the pocket and then I decided okay I'll put it in the envelope okay and then over here I did a th three tiered um, pocket section there's a large tag there's a smaller tag whoops a card I mean gosh it won't go in okay there you go it's got that pretty gal on the front but I liked that side so I stuck it there and this came from um, I think it was from the the envelopes and you know um, cards that you can get separately from the kit so I stuck that in there okay and then over here is the journal that I created and I tied it with a string uh, just you know some of the ribbon and it has a pocket on the front and I wanted to use some of the paper from the collection I have done nothing inside the journal so I'll just show you it's just some coffee or tea dyed papers that I had on hand and then I added some ledger paper and lined paper and parchment paper there's a fold out or tip out I had some music moments like this is what I put in this is I found this at my local hospice thrift store and it is piano roll paper so I thought it would look kind of fun and it has I'm waiting and hoping it'll uncurl a little bit Here's a Edith Holden page. So yeah, I just put, I'm not going to take a lot of time because I, like I said, I haven't done anything with this part. I was too busy with the other. Just the same thing all the way through. Anyway, over here, and of course this will slide out. So if I use that all up, then I can put another one in. So then I made, out of the piano roll paper, and it is very thin, I made little pockets to go here, and I put one of uh, little cards on the front. I used vellum, uh, Velcro to to attach it. Let's see if I can get these out of here with my there. So again, some more of these little doodads that we can that I can journal on. So then we open that up, and here's a belly band that I decorated. It's got this card on it or in it, or whatever, get in there, and a little stopper at the bottom, and um, over here, this is on the, the inside of the back cover, I didn't leave it open like Andrea did, because it was already getting thick, so this is magnetized, and then inside here, I put another large card from the collection, and then this photo mat you can see it's all I just love these papers they're so easy to work with because the work's done for you you could put any of it together and it'll look great then open this up and over here is a pocket again so there's lots of pockets okay. and then up here is a, a tall pocket so I put that one in there I like that and then in the middle of the pocket, two more of the gals. And then a little gal on the front here. And that is it. So it all folds up. This ties over here. Then this folds over here. And this folds this way. And then I just wrap it around. And stick it down in there to keep it secure. Thanks for stopping by. These are fun. Um, I'll put the link to Artie Mays's, um her first, uh, she made a larger folio that, and then she made a smaller one and she did the tutorial for the smaller one, which is this size. So I'll give you both links to, to the, the uh, large folio and then number one of the tutorial for this size. And um, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it, and I hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye now.